Uh, my name is Chuck Brungart. I'm president of Ilphonic. Hi, my name is Kedrin Gonzalez. I'm the creative director at Ilphonic. We started probably seven years ago, actually coming up November. I met Kedrin. Basically, we started uh, out of Paul Jackson, our lead programmer's garage here. We started in a garage to a up studio apartment to a small warehouse to a spot above a nightclub my brother runs downtown. A couple years later, had our first title, Nexus, that was part of THQ Partners. When we shipped Nexus, we were about 12, 13 people, so we're a really small team. We were the first ones, first licensee to ship a CryEngine 3 game. So it's kind of a big accomplishment for us. I'm really excited now to finally be able to announce we're working on Star Citizen FPS. Get it out there in the open so the public can finally understand and see what we've been, you know, really working hard on. People are so excited to work on this project. You know, our team's kind of all age range, but they have a very young vibe and personality. My name is David Langoliers, and I am senior producer here at Elphonic. My name's Cole Gray. I work at Ilphonic and I'm the lead artist on the FPS module. My name's Rodney Hull, I'm the lead designer. So I uh, manage the design team here. My name's Shane Stoneman, I'm a senior artist here at Elphonic. My name's Matt Hubble, I'm a effects artist here at Elphonic. My name is Brian McConnell, and I'm an animator here at Elphonic. I'm Nick Fletcher, I'm a programmer here at Elphonic. As far as first person shooters, we're doing something pretty different and groundbreaking that will hopefully set the future of first person shooters. I think what makes the FPS so special in Star Citizen is the absolute sheer immersive physical animation driven based system behind it that has never been seen before. There's never anything that's come close to this. We're building a system where the first and third person rigs and cameras are all the same. So in normal FPS, you kind of have this where your gun is shoved up into your mouth and the camera is just a floating bobbing head and you look down, you don't see any feet. Everything in ours is gone when you look down. When you look up, you're not going to see the feet. Instead, you're going to see the top of your helm and realism that I don't think we've really seen before. Being the, the lead artist, I push for, you know, excellence as much as possible as far as, you know, the visuals. And, you know, I thought that we were going to hit a certain level, and we've just pushed that, and we just keep pushing it, and it doesn't seem like there's any end in sight for it. How awesome this is going to get. The main theme behind what Star Citizen FPS is, especially in like a persistent universe type setting, is it's a very high risk gameplay. I think that's what makes it unique and special. Some of the cool things you can do in uh, Star Citizen FPS levels, for example, let's say if you're coming onto a space station and you don't know what to expect, you know there's a lot of bad guys, you and your entire team has been killed, and it's just you now. And you're there for whatever reason. Maybe you're trying to steal cargo, you're trying to assassinate somebody, you're trying to blow up the station. Most levels and most area stations, ships, um, a lot of planet side locations will have the ability for players to radically change the playing field at any time. So you can go cut the power off the entire thing, you can turn off oxygen, you can open up all the hangar doors and suck everybody out. You can blow up, set a self-destruct and blow up the whole place. There's so many different things you can do to change the level you're playing in. Like what we're trying to do is make it feel like it's realistic, you know, like when you shoot from the hip, you're not gonna have good aim. You know, you really need to focus on being careful and iron sighting like you would in real life. So it's bringing an element of simulation that has been lacking in FPS titles. There's the risk of permanent death. So there's, you know, always a high attention factor. Already we have bunch of stuff in the game just like the different different tactics that'll be used especially with zero g with star citizen now we can fight first person style in a zero g environment everyone's floating around and you can shoot each other that way i haven't seen anything like this before but in movies it's going to change the way that people play first person shooters for years to come so what excites me most about Star Citizen, I mean, the community is massive and just, they support the game and I really love how we're impressing the community, the actual fans are gonna play it. And that's what game development should be about. The thing I'm most excited about, I think honestly, is gonna be the day whenever I can log in and I can really mess with players. Cause the systems that are designed and put into place just allow a, a degree of just messing with players just the right way, like sneaking behind them, tricking them. You can really screw with people. And that's awesome. The activity I'm most excited about in Star Citizen is probably playing the pirate. I've always been the type that likes to kind of play the bad guy in the video game. Being able to hop from one ship 
mid-flight, jump on another ship, hijack it, mostly for the team dynamics that'll come from that. Flying around and being able to board other people's ships and just sweep through and kill everybody and take all their stuff. <laughs> the thing that excites me the most about Star Citizen is just how big and ambitious the project is. The first person shooter, the persistent universe, being able to fly and ex have the exploration. There's been games that have done little parts of Star Citizen throughout, but there isn't hasn't been a game that's been all the parts all you know mashed together in one giant super game. And I think that's probably the most exciting part about it. What excites me most would have to be the fact that we're basically groundbreaking the future of video games. I'm really proud of my team here. They've been doing an amazing job. They've been working really, really hard. Chris asked me to come up with a design for the FPS system, and he told me the direction he was wanting to go in. I knew that the system I gave them as a design was gonna be really difficult. Very thankful that they dealt with that and believed in uh, my vision as well as Chris's vision and pushed themselves to make it happen. It's the best thing that you know our studio has ever done and it's really been an honor to have the opportunity to do it. As far as the studio, we've always wanted to be kind of in the AAA lane, making groundbreaking stuff that's pushing graphics and pushing gameplay. I think everyone's gonna be really happy when they finally get to play this thing. Uh, you know, I guess early next year sometime.
Thank <laughs> you. 